Hi, this is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson. We got Jaime in here with us this morning, and this is Jaime's very first visit here at Advanced Chiropractic Relief. He came here because he's been watching our videos, right? And seeing the depths of our adjustments. Yes, sir. Yeah, that makes you a crack egg, you know. Oh, it does. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he comes in here complaining primarily of his right lumbosacral and sacroiliac pain that he gets that goes down into his legs and down to his thighs. He gets some mid-back and upper-back tightness occasionally, not a lot. Neck pain and stiffness, shoulder pain and stiffness. Um, he also gets uh, bilateral hip pain out in his hips out here. Now he brought his films in from his previous provider, which I just looked at. He has what's called degenerative disc disease throughout his entire lumbar spine but the worst two degenerated discs are at L4 and L5. And I showed you those, right, Hami? Yes, sir. So he's got big old spurs developing out there, which is a sign of degenerative disc disease, osteoarthritis. Those are synonymous terms. Osteoarthritis and degenerative disc disease is the same thing. Now, this is his very first adjustment here today, so I'm gonna be adjusting him on this biophysics table first, and then we're gonna decompress his entire spine. But I wanted to bring up an interesting point that he made, which is why, it's what a lot of patients tell us, that his previous chiropractors twisted him on his side and tried and pulled his shoulder back and then twisted and dropped down on his pelvis there. How did that feel to you, Jaime? It hurt. You told me it hurt the next day even, too. Yeah, sore today, yeah. very sore. Yeah, because you just had that done recently. Yesterday, yesterday. Yeah. So we don't adjust that side posture adjustment ever for that very reason. Less people have been injured getting the Y-axis adjustment than have ever had the side posture adjustment. And I know that's really popular amongst chiropractors, but you have to do the technique properly with a P to A line of drive as opposed to just cranking it up like you're jump starting a Harley Davidson. They just want to get some pops every once in a while. It's not the popping that's the important. It's the actual line of drive that you put into the vertebrae to make for a better biomechanical alignment on the XYZ axes and not stress the ligaments because when you stretch those ligaments, it makes things... Um, loose and it makes your ligaments lax so they're not going to hold your spine and pelvis in places stably and that's what you've been feeling too is a loss of stability right yes sir okay leslie you you tell me here first then Jaime face down so i'm going to adjust Jaime here for the very first time today and he's going to now his right leg is three quarters of an inch shorter down here in this prone position now bring his legs up. As you can see, they get even. Now already tightens up in your lower back and your thighs, doesn't it, Jaime? Yes, sir. So he's got a positive deer field on the right. He also had a left sacral deviation, or right sacral deviation test here when I did his sacral deviation test on the right. His entire lumbar spine here has flattened out because of the muscle hypertonicity due to the neurological sequela of the degenerative disc disease. So... He has paraspinal muscle hypertonicity all the way up into his lower thoracic and mid thoracic spine. He's got several ribs subluxated with the thoracic vertebrae back here. That's the thoracocostal junctions on the transverse process. Shoulders are tight. He wakes up almost with a stiff neck every morning, you told me, right, Jaime? Yes, sir. He's C3's off on the left, C5 and 6 right there on the right, C5, 6 on the right down here, a little bit lower C7. So I'm going to start off adjusting his pelvis first. We're going to hit that right SI and that right sacrum first because that's the most subluxated part of his pelvis. Yep. Some of these are going to be a little sore at first, Jaime. But they'll feel better once I get them back in place. There we go. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. You gonna make me work for him today, aren't you, honey? Yeah. A little deeper in person, isn't it? Yes, sir. <laughs> but looky there already. His legs are exactly even now. Jaime, I mean, this should feel a little bit easier already, but you tell me. Oh, that feels amazing. Imagine that. <laughs> wow. That's a wow. You ain't seen wow yet. You're fixing to. There. Yes, sir. Perfect. Okay, let's turn you on your back. 
I've never been accused of being the lightest adjuster. <laughs> yeah. But you're going to know that you had something done. There we go. Okay, now let's put both arms out like this for me, honey. Palms up. I'm going to adjust both your shoulders. Yeah. Your clavicles. Your anterior ribs. Yep. Good. Okay. You can relax your hands right here on your tummy now, honey. I want you to let this right leg go like a limp rag in my hand now, honey. There oh. We go. Now you should have felt that from your knee all the way up to your hips. Yeah. Now he's had a total knee replacement on his right knee. So he's got some adhesions and scar tissue surrounding that joint. But it's not going to hurt his total knee to decompress it and reseat it like that. Because that's what the joint's supposed to move like. Do you feel that all the way up, honey? All the way to my back. Okay, yeah. good. Let me have this one here uh, too. Just keep breathing. Uh, yes, sir? Feel that one too? Yes, sir. Okay, let me help you up sideways, honey. Oh, God. Here we go. No extra charge for those leg adjustments. <laughs> People already pay a premium fee to us for their chiropractic adjustments. But as you can see in almost all of our videos, I'm adjusting the spine, pelvis, extremities, every single joint that I can get moving. We want to move to their fullest range of motion. There we go. Because that triggers proprioceptive neurological information into the cerebellum, which changes the pain gate. Let's come over here on this table. Changes the neuroplasticity of the brain so that your brain starts readapting to this new environment rather than the old one. Time your butt there, head up this way, please, sir. On this one, Jaime, you just want to pray and breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let your legs relax. The table's going to lift them up. No, I'm just kidding you with that. <laughs> I've been doing this 40 years on people. I've never heard anyone. I keep saying that, but that's the truth. <laughs> there you go. Never hurts. We always pray for our patients every day. Because anyway. God's the one healing you. He's just using me as a tool. There we go. Now, see how your legs are up parallel to the floor? That should feel pretty relaxed in your spine right now. Does it? Yeah, it does. Good. So this is how I recommend you start sleeping. Get you a little uh, tote box, plastic box, and duct tape a pillow to it or a clothes basket flipped upside down. And see, with no pillow under your head, Jaime, you've got a forward lordosis in your cervical spine, so that should feel pretty comfortable up there, too. When you do this with the big pillow, see, it reverses that curve, and it's going to cause that to tighten up more. So I need a smaller pillow? No, you need no pillow. You know where I put my pillow? On my forehead and my eyes to hold my head back. Oh really? Yep. So let, let me ask you something, Doc. Yes, sir. The uh, with the surgeries I told you I had up here. Yes, sir. And palate surgery. It's, it's not, not going to affect that okay. adversely. No. That's tight. It's supposed to be. I don't want you to get away. From oh, me. oh my! Suck it up, Buttercup. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Breathe shallow. <laughs> On this one, Jaime, you want to keep your teeth together. Breathe through your nose. Keep breathing. There you go. Now you should have felt that oh. all the way down to your low back, honey. Oh, I'm pretty sure you did because I did. Mm -hmm. You okay? I'm good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Good thing you said that prayer, huh? There yeah. you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We pray for our patients healing every day. Now that you're a patient here, honey, you'll be on our prayer list as well. Appreciate it. Oh, absolutely. Let me help you up here. There's a lot more to being a healer than just adjusting people and doing therapies on people. Because we give God all the honor and all the glory for our patients healing every day. Okay. We're going to stand here in front of the mirror now. I mean, I want to shoot you. Well, look how you're standing up already. Look how we opened that up. Oh, my. Hip See, your shoulder and hip ain't gone? Yeah. Imagine it. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool sensation, huh? Wow. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a lot deeper in person, huh? Yes. There we go. People call this my ray gun all the time, but they have absolutely no idea what it is. Come back this way a little bit. You never know what kind of comments you're going to see from the trolls on these things. <laughs> Now, Jaime, when you go forward and backwards again, that should feel a little easier up here, but you tell me. A lot easier. Okay, good. Yes, well, Jaime, you've been adjusted different ways with that side twisty posture and now this. What would you share with our crack addicts worldwide about your experience here compared to what you've already had from other healthcare providers? Like day and night. It's, I can't. Was your history <laughs> comprehensive as well? Hey, that's the Lord healing you right here. That's the Holy Spirit, man. Welcome to Advanced Chiropractic Relief. Feels good. Yeah, it does. Feels good to feel good, too, huh? It's emotional. That's the Holy Spirit talking right there. This is your Houston chiropractor, Dr. Gregory Johnson, coming to you from Advanced Chiropractic Relief in Houston, Texas, with Jaime from Houston, Texas. We'll see y'all soon.